in our earlier video we discussed log transformation introduced it and also had r code so why do we transform data well in a situation like this one for instance if you do the transformation log transformation you may get results like these ones now we cannot run our regressions anovas etc on these ones but we can do here so that one purpose is to make the data symmetrical and normal distributions etc etc so that's how we do it and if you haven't seen the earlier video please watch that one because that gives you a lot more insight into why we do it and how it happens this video is for more like interpretation of the results reverse transformation so what we're going to do here is do regression so our regression equation typically is a plus bx y equal to that's a linear equation simple linear regression in our case here so we can transform the dependent variable that will be log y equal to a plus bx or we can transform the independent variable and that will be this way or we can do both of them and that will be this way we're going to discuss all three cases here so let's start so in our earlier video the previous video we had this data set and the bacteria count and what happens when we put an antibiotic soap and this is what it is now this data as we saw earlier in the video was not suitable for our regression or extra equations so we did log transformation using base e to get these numbers we are going to run regression equation with these numbers now to get our regression equation so basically what we are doing is this transforming the dependent variable okay when we run the regression we get this output and the main thing is here that's where our focus is right now everything is looking good here so let's not worry about that part so this equation actually is intercept this one but it's a log vector account remember we transform the dependent variable this much so now our job will be to interpret the results so that we can understand what happens with this bacteria account and we always use base e here in our video here okay so this is our original equation regression equation and now suppose at t that's the equation what's the bacteria account account at, at second t is that one the t could be one two three four five etc what happens at t plus one at t plus one we have this bacteria account when you take the difference between these two we get that number so after one second the log difference will be this much but this difference doesn't make any sense to us right now so we're going to use some log properties log a minus log b equal to log a over b so that's what we get now when we do reverse transformation with base e we get this what that means that means that after every second the bacteria becomes 96.71 percent of the previous count it decreases by about 3.4 percent or 3.3 percent more like decreases okay what happens every five seconds well same equation we do it same thing at t we have this much at five we'll have this much take the difference and we get this difference once again we do like this way e to the power that gives a 0 0.8460 so every five seconds the bacteria becomes 84.60 percent of the previous count now interesting thing is that this to the power five equal to 0.8460 and what's this number well this number was bacteria count after one second so what will be bacteria count after three seconds it will be this raised to the power three in this case five seconds raised to the power five now let's check it out what we have done so far so here is our actual data set bacteria count this is predicted so let's suppose at seven second we had these many bacteria nine six zero five how much do we expect at eight second well that will be decreased by decreased to this level 
multiply this by that and you get that number. So actual is this much and predicted this much. So we have some residual that will be this minus that. How about after 5 seconds? Well, at 7 level we have this much. Multiply by 0 0.8460 and we get to that number. And here we are actual minus this one predicted. Pretty close. So it does work. So this was transforming the dependent variable. Now we are going to discuss independent variable transformation. That is this one. Suppose our equation is this. Cost equal to 120 plus 150 times log weight. We transform the independent variable. So what we do here, we basically see what happens. Suppose the weight goes up by 1% or 5% or 2% etc. So let's start the process. So our equation is this one. Suppose our weight is 2 pounds. What's the cost? At 2 pounds will be 120 plus 150 times log 2. And log 2 will be this much base E. So this becomes 223.97. What happens at 5% increase? Okay. Which means 2 becomes 2 times 1.05. So the cost of that will be 120 plus 150 times log 2 times 1.05, which will come out to be this much. So what's the difference between these two? That much. So what we can say is, if the weight goes up by 5%, then our cost goes up by $7.32. That's what it is. Now we started at 2 pounds. What if suppose we start at 5 pounds, like here, at 5 pounds. So at 5 pounds, the cost is this much. Increase by 5%, then our cost is this much. Take the difference and what we get? 7.32. So which means really that the increase in the cost doesn't matter the, our starting point. It can be 2 pounds, 4 pounds, 8 pounds. If we increase by 5%, it's always the same. So that will be our transformation of the independent variable. Now we're going to go with both variable transformation. And now here is our equation. Log and log. Now suppose we have quantity 10. Then our cost will be this much. But that's a log cost at 10. Now what happens suppose we increase the quantity by 5%. Well then our cost now becomes that much. So what we have seen is when you increase quantity by 5%, the log cost increases by 0 0.0634. But this is the difference between two logs. And you might guess now what we're going to do is this. Log A minus log B equal to log A over B. So we do this part like this way. And now we do reverse transformation. That will be this over that equal to 1.0654. And this basically tells us that if we increase the quantity by 5%, our cost goes up by 6.54%. There it is. Quantity Q increases by 5%, the cost goes up by 6.54%. And we are done. So we did three kinds of transformation. Dependent variable, independent variable, and both variables. And hope you liked the video. And we are done here now with this video.